am I wrong here? Am I not seeing the charm of it all? Because I'm not seeing the charm of it all. He sort of um, dropped these little nuggets of information that he knew about her. I think I thought that was cute. Like, how does that make sense? How does it compute? How is that not toxic? I didn't really think anything too negatively or too positively about him, if that makes sense. Is this your boyfriend? Hey guys, I am Colleen and I'm a person. I like to read and I like to write, but I do whatever on this channel. And today I will be passing judgment on your book, Boyfriend. I originally planned for this to be a three-part video, but <laughs> I don't know if I can still do that. But regardless, for this video, I have three, Aaron, Aaron, and Zaid, reading the, those books and discovering these book boyfriends that everyone was hyping. It was a trip. Now, before we start, I feel compelled to clarify that this has nothing to do with real life. I genuinely hope that your basis for romantic relationships is not the same as your basis for when you're looking for a book boyfriend because if it is, I'm worried for you. <laughs> Let's talk about Erin Warner from Shatter Me. I read Shatter Me in a previous video already. I don't know about the latter books. I googled and found out that he will be the main love interest later on in the series spoilers by the way but for that book at least the first book there was a different love interest that was focused on his name is uh adam i think the book focused on adam right so it kind of took away from aaron's screen time he didn't really have much time to convince us that he's the one going off of what he showed he was kind of obsessed i mean not in an overly like over the top i mean it is over the top it's fiction but not in any uncommon way for a book boyfriend i guess <laughs> i don't know um he didn't really strike me as anything overly strange or overly anything i don't really have much to go on just because, like I said, he's not really that much focused on. At least he seemed to genuinely like... Um, what's her face? Uh, Juliet, was it? Uh, at least he genuinely seemed to like the main character and didn't really do anything that would... Um, super upset her he didn't go overboard he was just trying to convince her that they are meant to be together which is kind of creepy but not in any super strange way mid mid creepy again this is fiction book boyfriends only this has nothing to do with romantic standards for real life do not use this as a basis for romantic standards in real life I can't stress that enough because I feel like some of you are really young and if you are, I can't control what you will be reading out there. But yeah, I think it's just important to note that book boyfriends are not the same as real love interests. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope I am not steering you very incorrectly right now. I'm looking out for you. I'm going in circles because I don't really have much to go on again for Aaron. I cannot bear to read any more of that series. I'm, I think it gets better. That's why the series has a lot of fans, but based on the first book, he was very obsessed. He wanted her to himself, obviously. Let's just say compared to Zayd, Aaron looks like a saint. For Aaron, I think I'm gonna give him like three stars out of five. And yeah, mid. I didn't really think anything too negatively or too positively about him, if that makes sense. So the next guy on our list is Zayd Meadows from Haunting Adeline and I don't even know where to start with this guy. I know that he had the different colored eyes thing going on but beyond that... I couldn't really understand why a lot of 
book talk recommendations. Put him as a top book boyfriend. I don't know this in the entire book i had a problem with it was so unnecessarily dark based on the forums that i read off of google i think the second book gets heavier the first book was already super problematic and toxic and heavy i wrote some notes because i know that i will get heated discussing this guy and i will try to religiously follow the notes so that we don't have any problems and again i will reiterate that the standard for the book boyfriend is not the same as the standard for a real boyfriend a zade meadows like person is not the one do not try to find a Zade Meadows in your life. Please, please, please. I am actually begging. Keep yourself safe and do not find a real life Zade Meadows. Please, please. We will not be discussing Adeline extensively because as I said, we're rating the book boyfriend. Main and first problem with this book is that there's two of Zade. In his own chapters, he's like this vigilante hero Liam Neeson type guy where he's kind of has this righteousness about him he is morally sound but not necessarily lawful or by the book when it comes to law but in adeline's chapters he's just unnecessarily violent with some strange interests he was toxic and abusive to her and there was just no rhyme or reason to how he thought which is a very very big contrast to how he was in his own chapters because his life's mission right is to save young girls from the skin trade and what i don't understand is that he would turn around and harass adeline in the exact same way that he doesn't want for these young girls for example spoilers there's this part where he makes it a point that the blood of the aggressor should never touch the victims and all that, which is great. But he has no problem sending severed limbs to the porch of the girl of his dreams. Like, how does that make sense? How does it compute? How is that not toxic? What did you like about this guy? I literally could not... Actually, I was fuming reading this book that I almost DNF'd it like s several times. I'm getting heated again. Back to the notes. He had no respect for Adeline whatsoever. As I was reading it, I could understand why it took like 500 plus, almost 600 pages. A nice guy or like even a morally gray character who at least had genuine interest in their love interest would have taken me half the time to like this is so long and so drawn out because he had such a bad personality that maybe the author thought that by 600 pages we could get stockholm syndrome another thing he had some strange interests right he was kind of glad when adeline wasn't really interested in him he was glad when she was mad at him like it was strange to me but instead of communicating that to the love interest he straight up stalks harasses abuses her and uh, i don't know i that doesn't sit right with me at all if you have some strange interests why not just communicate that like a normal person i don't know what the goal is here by stalking the girl i literally i i was so confused exhibit b into zade's dual personality thing going on he promises not to ever hurt adeline but a few chapters later he literally fantasizes snapping her neck he's such a walking contradiction even the language in which he spoke he has like two modes the f word in like seven times in every sentence out or a preteen into hip-hop like you feel me what his dialogue was so bizarre i i had such a problem with his character building because he, had, he was so many things and none of them at the same time i feel like i'm just confusing everyone because that's 
how I read it. <laughs> I was just genuinely confused the whole time. So there's this part where he says something to the effect of as if the amount of skin is any reason to, to essay a girl. I was choking, I was wheezing because he did the exact same thing to Adeline and he is now like against it because someone else was doing it. Does that make sense? Does he make sense? Is this your boyfriend? Zaid's ego is massive and I literally just wrote that he could not love Adeline as much as he loves himself because that's how he came off to me. Even their intimate scenes, the locations, I swear, a germ infested carnival attraction, like a, a, a haunted house in the forest, in the rain, during a storm like does he even like adeline at all because mm -mm, that doesn't show it there's a part in the book where they kind of say that they're two opposing personalities finding each other and finding what it is to like about each other but i don't think that's the story at all all. I think again that there's two of Zaid and he he's at war with himself. His two personalities are clashing and Addy is just collateral damage. The book overall is very dark as I said and I think it lacked the necessary humor to balance out all the darkness in the book which was why I dragged myself through reading this book. It was so heavy and in a way that I'm not sure was even beneficial to the story, if that makes sense. It was just unnecessarily heavy for me, in my opinion. I have read a lot of murderous characters in my time, and a lot of them are, uh, are so much more honorable than Zaid, more likable than Zaid, because at least they showed interest in their partners beyond skin deep information beyond the quality of their coot i mean zaid was a literal hacking expert and at no point did he ever offer to help addy solve this side plot regarding her grandmother's murder like literally the villain of the story was of more help to adeline in that regard than zaid he only ever brought it up when he when it suited him he brought it up as a testament to the possibility of loving a stalker. That was it. Like, no help whatsoever. Am I wrong here? Am I not seeing the charm of it all? Because I'm not seeing the charm of it all. So overall with Zaid, negative 100 over 5 stars. Because I don't think he was even really in love with Adeline. I think he wanted Adeline to love him. Does that make sense? You don't want to love that person, you just want to be loved by them. An ego booster? You want to force her to love all the dark parts of you when you have made no effort to learn anything about this girl. That's why I have, I have very little opinions about Adeline because the book didn't show anything substantial about her. I don't know why you like him. Maybe it's just pretty privilege, but yeah. Ugh. So let's move on before I literally get mad again. Let's go to Erin Blackford from the Spanish Love Deception. I read the books in that order, like Aaron Warner, Zaid, and then Aaron Blackford. Again, in comparison to Zaid, Aaron Blackford was much better, the best option out of the three of them. I know genre plays a factor in all this, but still, I think Aaron Blackford is the safest option, the least toxic out of the three. While I had questions about their chemistry, I think it was cute that he knew all these things by observing the main character. I forgot her name, Cat Catalina from afar. He sort of um, dropped these little nuggets of information that he knew about her. I think I thought that was cute, but I had questions about their chemistry and how they bantered back and forth. You already know that I have a bit of an issue with enemies to lovers, so I think maybe you take my opinion with a grain of salt. But as a book boyfriend, he wasn't bad. Literally, just a normal guy. <laughs> I told you that it would take me half the amount of time to like a normal guy 
especially after reading Haunting Adeline, he was like the best guy ever. So I'm gonna give him a four. I had nothing to complain about actually. Um, this is gonna be short for Aaron Blackford, but yeah. He didn't let her suffer, didn't let her walk in the rain or something. But yeah, it was such a depart from how Zayd was and how he treated his love interest. So four for Aaron Blackford. I'm sorry, I can't say more. I used up all my time on Zayd. Those are my ratings, my judgment on your book boyfriends. I might, I might not. I don't know if I still want to keep doing this, but I had a thing planned. Another two videos passing judgment on book boyfriends, but I'm not sure if I can still take this pain. But yeah, hopefully if I try to read the the other books, it'll be much better, the guys. I can't imagine how it can get worse than Zayd. Maybe still read it if you think you can take it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!